Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. So I had talked about my card backs and how I have all of these card backs that I've collected since the 80s when I got my figures. And there was, and I've gone through them and I realized that I haven't had, I don't have the card backs to all the figures that I have. And I, I pretty much have all of the figures in the Star, uh, the Vintage Star Wars line, except for the Yak Face and Blue Snaggletooth, which are very expensive, and I don't, I have finding it difficult to find them and get them at a, a low price. So I was thinking that, you know, since I don't have certain card backs for the figures, that I maybe look for them online and purchase them at a reasonable price, of course. Also, it really bugged me that I have some, that, that a lot of the card backs, that I had crossed through them. And, you know, being a kid and I was, you know, if you can see, see the line through that. And I did that with most of them. Um, not necessarily on the Power of the Force line, because that's, you know, towards the end and I was a bit older and I didn't, feel the need to cross through them but for a lot of them especially like Return of the Jedi you can see I crossed the line through them and I numb and even the Empire Strikes Back look at that look how terrible that is I, I don't understand why I did that and it just really upsets me um, so I thought you know I try to get new card backs maybe not not for ones that I already have but at least for the ones that I don't have, like for Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia, for some reason I don't have those, and Han Solo, um, the first Han Solo, I, I for some reason don't have that either, I don't know why. And this is the only Star Wars card back that I have, and look how terrible it is. And I even attempted to make it look a little bit better, I used the black marker, to darken this, and I use a black marker to put a line down this way and a line over here, and 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 you know the the sticker spot. I you know made sure to have it little box right there when I was doing the black marker. But then I you know again I marked through them you know as I got every figure, and I don't understand why I did that, and just really upsets me. And I even did it through this, and I did it through this. It's So I'm hoping that at some point maybe I can get another Star Wars card back and have it nice and pure. I'm not necessarily concerned about getting one with the proof of purchase in it because a lot of them, a lot of the, the, um, the card backs that I have, as you can see, I cut out the proof of purchase because I did, I did order the... Um, the the freebies and see I even put a line through that that's really upsetting so as long as it's pretty reasonable I thought I would just you know here's a return of the Jedi and I didn't put a line through it so I'm pretty excited about that still has a sticker on it maybe I should take the stickers off I don't know so I went on eBay and I found a really good deal for hammerhead because I don't have a hammerhead card back so I went on eBay and I bid on it and it came with two figures two hammerhead figures so I figured well why not I ordered it so I got I got it so I'm gonna now after this frame is when I show my complete address which would have been a huge mistake if I had left it on and posted it to YouTube and here is when I realized that, oops, I just showed my address. Fortunately, it's not live and I can edit. And now, take two without the address. So I got it and I'm going to unbox it and see what it looks like. And hopefully it looks as good as it does on, on eBay. Oh my God. The guy really taped this very well. I'm finding it difficult to cut this. 
I really like that he put it in a box so it's nice and protected. All right, the box is open. So the two figures, which, you know, it's cool. This one looks good. Now, do I need multiples hammer of Hammerhead? Not really. But I thought that it was a really good deal. So I just decided, what the heck, maybe I can sell these back. Um, the head on this one is kind of loose. Oh, not too bad. The arms are fine. The leg isn't, it's a very sturdy figure. I don't see any, any damage. A little bit loose in the head, but it doesn't flop over when you lie him down like this. And this one, the head is really nice and stiff. And I don't see any damage, so it looks good. Okay, but the main reason I ordered this was for the card back. Because somehow, like I said, somehow I have a hammerhead figure, but I don't have the card back. I don't know what happened. So I'm pretty excited. And this one doesn't have... It... It, um... Doesn't have the proof of purchase. Uh, the front is not too bad. Oh, and it's a Star Wars. Yay! So it's not too bad. And now it's not, unfortunately, it's not this back. And I'm hoping to find one with this, the original 12 on the back. But I was able to get this one with the Boba Fett ad. And with the new figures, the original 12, the new figure. And look, no crosses through them, no lines, because the ones I have has the lines through it. And I don't think I even have one with this on the back. So I'm pretty jazzed about that. So I have, I now have a Hammerhead card back that looks with Star Wars on it. And the pictures on the back without any lines through it. So I'm really excited about this. I was thinking that I would display them, you know, with all the card backs. It's going to be kind of difficult because I need a lot of space for that. So I thought somehow I'd display that. I'd put the card back, the figure with the accessory. So I thought that would look really cool if I put them on the shelf somewhere. Um, that's a lot of figures to have to do, but um, I'm pretty excited for this this idea so I want to try it out maybe I'll put them in the glass cases or maybe in this shelf right here who knows so yeah I'm pretty excited about this hopefully I can find more at a reasonable price thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe you can also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Facebook